The femoral tension sign. The femoral tension sign tests the upper lumbar nerve roots. It is a reverse of the straight leg raise test. So you try to do femoral nerve stretch or extension in a prone or lateral position will stretch the femoral nerve and will reproduce the pain in the L3 or L4 nerve root distribution. This can evaluate the L2 and L3 nerve roots, but it will predominantly evaluate the L4 nerve root. When the test is positive, the patient will have anterior groin, thigh, or medial leg pain. When the L5 nerve root is irritated by a disc herniation, the patient will have sciatica with positive straight leg raising. Straight leg raising tension sign occurs from L5 to S1 nerve root involvement. The straight leg raising is a good predictor for success of surgery. The tension sign or straight leg raising produces pain and prosthesia in the leg at 30 to 70 degrees of hip flexion. Dorsiflexion of the foot while raising the leg will also stretch the sciatic nerve and cause more pain. How about the contralateral leg raise test? It is positive if elevation of the non-painful limb causes back and limb pain on the opposite side. What does it mean? It means that you have a sequestered or a large extruded herniated disc. The patient may have an axillary herniation, which is usually due to cephalad and medial migration of the disc fragment. During surgery, medial retraction becomes difficult and dangerous. Positive contralateral leg raise test is the most specific test for disc herniation. The straight leg raise test is the most sensitive test for success of the surgery. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.